so this is what the outfit looks like it's so hard to show you guys but like i said the white pants we got the gold accessories it's super cute what's popping y'all it's your girl team stacy and i'm back with another youtube video and if you're new to my channel hello and if you're a subscriber what's up all right guys so today we are doing a get ready with me right now i'm about to go to dinner i have reservations for 9 p.m and it is 7 59 basically i'm running late but that's okay because i'm gonna do a quick glam with you guys okay. first things first y'all my freaking headband is too motherfucking tight uh, oh yes the circulation oh that feels so better i did go ahead and wash my face in the shower so my face is clean i'm gonna go ahead and just bring in the moisturizer so i'm gonna take the um and okay i am not even gonna butcher this word today but i actually really like this moisturizer you guys know i'm obsessed with the elf holy hydration moisturizer but this one um I'm, I'm i've been grabbing for it a little bit more lately i'm gonna go ahead and just work this into my skin so for tonight i'm actually going out to eat with my friend um her name is ellie you guys met her before in one of my vlogs um but me and her are going out to grab food you guys know i just got my own shop so ever since i had my shop guys i have been just so freaking busy with like making money and just business really like just business trying to keep up with the content on multiple platforms because you guys know obviously i do youtube but you know i'm trying to be a little bit more active on like other platforms as well usually i'm like a little bit more active on here so i'm trying to get active on tiktok so i've just been literally working and i used to hang out with like my friend ellie and Aaliyah literally like every other day even though ellie lived like freaking 45 minutes away from me we would like always make it work but once i got really busy with like you know business i kind of felt like i just haven't seen my friend in so long so i'm like you know what i'm going to make it a mission that we go out and we just catch up with life i'm talking new boyfriends type shit like that's how long i have not seen my friend i'm actually super excited to go out honestly i feel like my one of my goals this month i have a lot of goals this month but one of them is definitely time management i want to be able okay let me just push this back a little bit i want to be able to like balance my time where it's like i can like hang out with my friends and my family like have a social life but then also still be like fully engaged in my business and i feel like for years i've literally lacked the balance like when I was younger and I was doing YouTube, it was like I was doing YouTube and I was going to school and I was working. So it was like something would always end up going on the back burner. Like I couldn't spread myself even. Like I would literally just spread myself so thin. And obviously the most demanding at that time was school. And then after school was work. And then, then whatever little bit of time that I had to myself, that's what I would do for my YouTube. So fast forward. You know, I ended up quitting my traditional nine to five, did that a few years ago, and I just kind of just locked in with YouTube. And I feel like that's how my, you guys grew so much. My team just grew, which I'm forever grateful for that. So because I had less things to like kind of focus on, it was like a little bit easier to like just focus on what I had to work on. So now I was balancing pretty well, I was uploading definitely at least once a week, everything was going pretty good. Um, but I, like you guys know, I'm a makeup artist and I was literally doing clients in my house and I just didn't feel safe doing that one. I just feel like you don't want just anybody inside of your house. You don't want just everybody in the city to know where you live. And there's a certain type of, there's a lot of people that probably don't feel comfortable coming to get serviced in someone's house. And I'm not like that like me I don't care like if your service is good I do not care if you're doing my nails in your kitchen girl like I'm gonna support your business especially I think I'm like that because I you know was home based for a while so I'm not like that but there are certain people so I feel like when you are a service provider and you are home based you have to understand that there is a cap there's a roof there is a ceiling that you uh, figuratively speaking it's like a limit and like how far 
and how much you could do with your business. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted certain models and like there were certain people I just didn't feel like having in my household, but like I wouldn't mind doing their makeup. It was just little things like that that I'm just like, oh, I just really needed to like get my business outside of the house so i moved into my shop a couple of months ago which i started the vlog for like the move in and everything but things just started going so fast but i'm still going to give you guys like a little tour of my shop because it is so cute you guys can just see like the team stacy sign and like the background it looks like you know so cute it's like a cute little makeup room and i love it that's why i'm even here i'm not home doing my makeup because i kind of leave everything like my makeup here and stuff like that that being said i was so freaking busy like i just literally would focus on building my clientele i would focus on you know doing youtube videos brand deals i would focus on everything under the sun and i felt like my relationships with anybody was just literally taking a toll the only relationship that took a toll that i'm actually happy is like my like like relationship with men because like before i feel like i wasn't busy so like i would just have time to like stress about boyfriends and stress about stuff like that where now i can't even fathom having a boyfriend right now like i'm so in my bag i'm so in my vibe like i can't even think about being serious with anyone right now and i kind of love that because as a lover girl my fellow lover girls are going to understand what i'm saying but being a lover girl is not easy in a world of freaking vultures so being like finally able to like just not be worried about that feels really good okay y'all i look like a ghost let me contour hold on okay i'm gonna take my black opal contour stick just to add some color back to my face because i look freaking bonkers okay guys so yeah like i literally that's like what i've been dealing with so then i was like just seeing it and i'm just like i'm not gonna let this die like i genuinely i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram which if you don't like are you even team stacy like you can't just be team half the team like okay we are a full force team you have to follow me everywhere so follow me on instagram at team.stacy and tiktok i was a girl that had a lot of friends i had i just knew a lot of people um but as i got older you know relationships started to die down which it was really it was it wasn't traumatic but it was just like a big change for me like can you imagine like just knowing so much people and just having so many friends and some people to talk to to like low-key having just one and then for a moment none it was a very very like big like change for me so um but i was i was content with it because i knew that the people that was in my life they weren't meant to stay and i just had to accept that friends that actually stayed in my life and the friends that like re i rekindled with them and like things like that like the people that are in my life now i just feel like it's perfectly balanced like i never have been so grateful in my life i love my friends i love my family i just love everything about every person in my life like everybody is literally so perfect to me like I have friends that I could text them like once every two weeks or a month and there's no bad blood like we literally link up and everything is lit I have you know I meet a lot of different new people I don't know I just feel like the chapter in my life is like it's just so perfect like obviously I have like bad days and stuff but it's just so perfect guys I look so good I love a nice little contour like I love adding color back to my face I felt like I I was not cherishing that because I let work kind of get in the way of things like I started to like decline every like hang out with my friends and I would just always be so busy and it's just like I need to find balance like you cannot be like that if you actually genuinely care about somebody like bro you have to find balance like you have to be able to hang out with them you know and just tend to the relationship and you know still be able to make your money and still be able to you know be a boss like i just feel like i didn't have that balance so i'm literally just telling you guys my whole freaking life story but y'all my family so i'll be telling y'all everything but yeah so it's like i'm like okay you know what i'm not letting this die i'm not gonna let our friendship take an l because i don't know how to take i don't know how to balance my life so i'm like okay I'm gonna you know make it an effort to see if we can go out to eat and just catch up like even if we can't be in each other's face as much as we used to I'm not gonna just let this die like I just can't I'm not gonna let that happen like not on my watch not on my watch yeah any of my friends if y'all watching this y'all not going nowhere y'all stuck with me so period but that's pretty much where I'm going so let me tell you guys where I'm going I'm going to this restaurant named Clues. I did not go to Clues. I went to a different restaurant. 
But guess what? At the end of the video, there's gonna be a mini vlog. So make sure you guys watch all the way through so you guys can see where I really went. Cause girl, it was my period. Um, this is a really cute uh waterside restaurant. I love like waterside restaurants. I just love it. Calus is good. Like it's a nice little you know kind of bougie vibe and everything, and the price is not too crazy. Only thing I'm not fond of is like their food options. So you guys know I'm pescatarian. I only eat seafood. I don't eat land animals, and I just feel like y'all. I literally can just get. I know the menu like I know what I can get I get the cedar plank salmon with like mashed potatoes like I can't get much from them okay guys give me five seconds let me do my eyebrows so I don't mess this up because we don't have time for mistakes right now Okay guys, so for lashes, I'm gonna be wearing these lashes that's from the company Glam Goddess Collection. She sent them to me. And guys, these lashes are so freaking cute. Like, I just feel like she knows me so well because she sent me like a few lash styles and these are just so dramatic. And y'all know I love me a good dramatic lash. So I'm about to prep them. So speaking of prepping my lashes lately, I'm gonna show you guys how I prep my lashes. So if you guys like, follow me and you're actually subscribed to my channel you guys see like on my community tab I kind of update you guys so I've been dealing with eye infections and just kind of getting styes lately so not fun not fun at all it kind of makes me not able to upload YouTube videos Hold on. I have um, been kind of slowing down on makeup like like as you guys see I'm not gonna do a liner I might do a bottom liner but I'm not gonna do a wing liner like, I have to let my eyes breathe only reason why I'm even still doing makeup is because I I need to like I, I have to let the girls know how to do their makeup so what I do is um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of 91% alcohol and I'm just going to wipe down the lash band so I don't know as of right now if I'm having an allergic reaction to a product that I'm using I don't know what's going on I literally don't know so in the meantime I have to like take the proper steps so I make sure my brushes are really clean when I use them um, I don't sleep in my makeup and like let them like stay overnight I don't re-wear my lashes anymore like I'm very very like on top of it because at this point I don't know what the hell is going on well, I'm gonna just take a little bit of black liner I don't even really like wearing liner but I'm gonna also wet that down with a little bit of alcohol so for bronzer I'm just gonna take my um, morphe glamour bronze and I'm just gonna take shade phenon you guys know I love a bronze look but I keep the bronzer pretty high up and then I'll just like blend it down so I'm just going to put it you guys saw my placement and then I just kind of like blend it into the face while my lash glue is drying really really appreciate you guys so many people responded to that post and they were just giving me tips and they were just being so caring and telling like just telling me you know nice things because why the hell am i about to get emotional that's actually really weird okay stacy get in touch with your feelings because okay but it's just like um one of my biggest fears was like i didn't want to like just go mia and like you know, like I just fall off with like YouTube. This is the blush I'm using, but I didn't want to like fall off because I couldn't really do makeup. Like my mom, she's like, you need to stop wearing makeup. But it's like, first of all, I love makeup. And second of all, like I love teaching people how to do their makeup. So it's not like I can just say, okay, no more makeup. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't even going out where I was just wearing makeup for fun. I was literally wearing makeup for when I had to like, you know, do my makeup for, for YouTube or, you know, content creation. So it was really, really stressful to think like damn like is this like do I have to put the brush down like you know what I'm saying it was really stressful to think about it but honestly that's not my story I'm not putting the brush down and honestly my eyes are just gonna have to get it the hell together cuz period hey okay, guys so for lip liner um, I'm gonna take the Nika K and this is in shade coffee from the beauty supply store and ooh, I've been exfoliating my lips my lips look a little raw I'm just gonna dust off the excess powder on my face. I'm using um, MAC Studio Fix Press Powder and this is in C8. So I kind of jump from like different shades that I like to use. So 
today I'm using C8. Usually I like to keep my under eye really bright, but I don't really feel like finding the other shade that I use right now. So I'm just gonna. But if you ever like put too much blush or too much contour, too much bronzer, a face powder definitely helps with like toning everything down. And also I don't like my line to be like too sharp. So like I like to put a face powder just to like kind of fix that. So it's like cut but it's still smooth i also what i've been doing is not going directly on my lash line i just try to go a little a tad bit above it because mind you i can't go too high because i don't wear liners right now so i go a little bit above it where it's not like the glue's like seeping into my lash my lashes or anything but it's not noticeable that they're like not like pinched in I like to like pinch my lashes in but these lashes are so beautiful and they're so dramatic so I'm able to kind of get away with it not being directly my lash line and honestly I wore makeup I think two times since my last flare-up and um, it has been fine so I do like that little hack of not putting it directly on the lash line if you guys want to purchase these lashes i will link this down below this video is not sponsored this product was gifted to me but honestly super cute lashes i think they're like so dramatic and they're just so team sexy like i love me a nice dramatic lash okay so next up i'm going to spray my face with the morphe continuous setting spray okay we want to make sure this is nice and set. We look super good. I'm going to let this dry down. I'm going to call Ellie again because she didn't answer and I'm getting a little worried. So I'll be right back once this dries down. Okay, guys. So while my face is almost done drying down, I'm going to go ahead and use the Glass Gloss. This is a vegan lip beauty. I'm super excited to use this out. So I chose a few shades from them. Um, so let me show you guys what I got. I got this lip oil and as you guys see, it has real roses in here. This is so nice to use after you experience exfoliate your lips and you just apply that oil it just helps your lips stay natural and not like chapped and you know dry skin and anything like that um and then let me show you guys the shades that i got so i got two shades i wish this was live so you guys can like help me choose so um i got i got this shade here you guys know i love a nude this is shade naked and then i got this really bright shade which is called ooh la la and like i said this is from glass gloss so let me show you guys the two shades differences because i know you guys probably like girl these are the same shade but they're not okay so look so i'm gonna go here this is oh i see this one's like a brush applicator super nice oh my god that's like so pretty and so creamer creamy that's what it looks like and that is in naked and then ooh la la is more of a brownish nude and a light nude so this is this is the two colors so as you guys see one has more of like a pink tone and one is like more just like a, a dry like nude tone so for today i'm gonna go with naked i hope you guys wanted me to try naked because that's the one i want to try today i love the brush applicator it's super cute and very different a lot of people don't have that type of brush applicator oh yeah mm, the consistency is no, oh my god guys this is so pigmented and thick You guys know the best way to mm, to mix your lips is to pat them. So let me pat. This is what my lips look like. This shade is so cute. It's like a nice nude. I do want to try it with a different lip liner, but for tonight, this is exactly the lip look that I wanted to do. I will also link the information down below in the description box if you guys want to try out those lip glosses as well. Um, what I'm going to do right now is just highlight. Okay, this is like such an oldie, but it's actually new. I got this from Marshalls, um, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, and they kind of updated their packaging a little bit. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my face because, period. I would never forget when I was younger and the glow kit came out I didn't have enough money to afford it I believe it was like $40 or something and I literally would like go on Amazon not Amazon um eBay at the time and like find like the knockoff ones and I would buy them I literally bought it that's so funny like now it's like such a different ballpark but before girl I did not have no money girl like if y'all 
knew like the cheap stuff that I used to do to be a beauty creator, I used to really just have no little money to my name and just try to make it work. But that's the best way to be and it really is such a beautiful story because this is now my job like this is awesome i love talking about stuff like that okay guys so this is what i'm looking like nice healthy and highlighted everything looks so freaking cute and so freaking raw what i'm about to do right now is i'm going to just finish my edges and i'm going to put on my outfit and i'm gonna show you guys what i decided to wear because it is so freaking cute so I'll be right back, okay? Okay, y'all, so this is what the makeup looks like. This is so cute, right? I love it. So soon I'll be doing more eyeshadow looks because I really wanted to get a little bit more into that this year, but still like everyday friendly. But let me show you guys what I'm wearing, okay? Okay, so I decided to put these just basic white pants. I think I got these pants in a set from, um, where did I get this from? I Zaffle. It's just like a white set, but I took the pants. Then I got this blue um top. You can tie it like like oh my god, like you know like those crisscross. Like you can tie like the crisscross way. You could do like a wrap around. You could do whatever. It's like really long. But I got this from um this boutique down in Broward called the Popping Collection. So I'm gonna wear this like in a typical bandeau. Um. Then I got um I went to this store. And I got these blue heels. It's not the same blue, but I kind of wanted that vibe. It's a little different, but like I wanted to like kind of mix up the blues a little bit. So I got that. And then I have this Tumblr bag in blue and it literally matches the shoes perfectly. So it was kind of perfect. So I'm going to wear this. So like I think my friend Kay, she said um, the blue, the with the white with the blue essentials. That's what she called it. So I think I love that so much. Um, and then um, for jewelry, y'all know I'm gonna get my real bust down soon, but I'm just gonna wear this diamond choker chain with this diamond um, watch. And then um, for the scent, I'm gonna go with Dolce & Gabbana light blue, which is so funny because I'm wearing light blue today. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm wearing. And my nails are not done, but I'm gonna be putting on these press-ons. I like the regular square ones, um, but they didn't have them, so I had to get these. So yes, y'all, I'm about to go put the outfit on and I'm gonna show y'all what the outfit looks like because y'all know it's gonna be given, period. So this is what the outfit looks like. It's so hard to show you guys. But like I said, the white pants, we got the gold accessories. It's super cute. I think it's so basic, but it's so cute. Um, then we have the Templar bag. It's a different shade, like I said, but I think it's like really, really cute. Like, I didn't put the shoes on. I'm actually about to wear my flats to the car and then I'll put it on when I get to the place. And I'll take like a quick little video for you guys. Y'all, I need to go do my nails real fast and then I'm gonna get out of here. Let me show you guys what time it is though. It is a 9.01, I'm supposed to be there at nine, but my friend, she's coming all the way from Miami and she hasn't, sorry, I just hit the camera. She hasn't told me that she's here yet. So I think she's, um, I think she's running late, but um, yeah, the place goes at 11, so we might miss our reservations, but that's okay. So yeah, let me go ahead and do my press-ons real fast, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I'm in the car, and I'm with my sister. Ellie Melly, you guys met her already. So we're about to go grab some food. So I told you guys we were going to Kalu's, but change of plans, because this bitch is motherfucking late. <laughs> we're going to, how you say, Dunkin'Oos? I say Dunkin'Oos. Dukanoos. We're going to Dukanoos, which is some Jamaican restaurant in Miami. So I'm gonna do a little mini vlog because it's supposed to be a get ready with me, but I'm gonna give y'all some a, li a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna see you guys when I get there. But this is what the makeup is giving, guys. It's super cute. If you guys are not following my, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys right now. I'm gonna shout her out. I had one of my subscribers and she did her makeup after following my my tutorials, and she looks so freaking good. So let me show you guys. Hold on. Period. Yeah, get into it. Period. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah. So make sure y'all follow these tutorials because it's nothing but giving. Okay. So I'm gonna see you guys when we get to the restaurant, and I'm gonna do like a little vlog and show you guys the full outfit because the outfit is giving. Period. Alright 
right, y'all. I am lit as the fuck, okay? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I took that many shots. Hold on. Okay, y'all. Uh, I don't know why I took so many shots. I'm literally watering. I feel really lit right now. And that's pretty much it. So, if you're not subscribed to the channel, <laughs> Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I love you guys so freaking much. And I'm going to see you guys in my next video. If you made it this far, go ahead and comment this emoji right here. I need to soap her up because I'm so lit right now. And right now, Ellie, she went to give me a water because I'm really lit. And I feel like I'm this lit because I... Because I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I'm like, oh, oh my god. I'm so sorry. <sighs> I'm so late right now. I love you guys. Hold on. Yeah, that was so embarrassing. Oh my god, I look crazy. This is embarrassing. That was so embarrassing, y'all. I was so drunk. Like, let me just give you guys a little story time before the video fully ends. But I did not eat the whole entire day. We did not get to this restaurant until like 9, 10. I didn't eat anything. I had four crackers. I was supposed to have six, but Simba ate two. So, get there. I ordered the pasta, as you saw. Um, and then I asked for the strongest drink, which the strongest drink is the zombie. I have the zombie and um, then some guys there, they started sending us shots. So I want to say we took like four to six shots. I don't remember after like the third, fourth one. I can't even tell you. So I'm lit. And I already took the strongest drink there. Then the owner buys us another one of the strongest drinks and I'm done for it. Like you guys know. I used to be a bottle girl, but now I'm a businesswoman. I'm in the shop now. I'm a businesswoman, so I don't really party anymore. I don't really drink anymore. That was so I told you guys about that in the video. So I literally just went over my limit, but I really want to pop in and let you guys know I did not drive. As you guys see, I was in the passenger seat. Thank God to my homegirl, Ellie. She did drive me home that day. That was a whole thing. I'm very, very grateful, but yeah, y'all. So make sure y'all drink responsibly, okay? And if you are gonna get crazy and you're gonna get lit, do that, but make sure you are not driving, okay? So yeah, I love you guys, and um, we family because I just exposed myself with this video, okay? Period. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video, for real. Love you guys. Bye, guys.